Kendrick's now. He dropped a video called Zaza. At this point, the music is secondary for 6 9 in regards to antics and polarization as far as going viral, right? It used to be viral polarization, and then maybe music would also be there to carry him because of music like Gummo. Um, what's the, the record he had with A Boogie and Fetty? What like those records were actually good enough to carry him along with the antics, along with the bullshit. But now, the antics are way more overshadowing the music. So Six Nines formula in the beginning was, what's he gonna do when he gets out of jail? He can't hang around with the tough guys anymore. He can't rap about gangsters. He can't do that anymore because he's a snitch. He's already admitted in court that he's not about that life. But he's still able to do those things. He's still able to rap like he is in the streets. He's still able to rap like he is a part of that life. But the, the, the twist is, the difference is if you watch his video or his videos recently, he can't use the street guys anymore, right? Now the appeal before with Gummo and all these other videos was street guys, right? We got the guys who are all wearing red. We got the dogs. We got the guys out. We're doing these type of things. Now it's positioned around the girls. The girls are what going to get people to watch the video. The girls are going to get these little kids, you know, these little horny kids. Like if I was 12 and 13 and Zaza video came out, I'd be watching this shit every day. Like I don't even care what the song sounds. I don't care if he was farting on the beat. If I was a 12, 13 year old kid, I watch Zaza every single day because that's what little horny kids do. That's what they like to watch and what they go for. So that's the new angle as far as 6ix9ine goes because the street stuff really doesn't get him there anymore. And then you lead into the antics. You lead into what he's doing as far as taunting the Chicago guys. So like I said, Zaza, it's, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if he wasn't, maybe his image wasn't so tainted as far as the street stuff goes, then the music, you'd be able to stomach it because you might actually believe it. The thing that is different from 6 9 and these other rappers that could be or may not be from the streets or might not be gangster is we don't really know yet if they are or not. So we can still have some believability in it to what they're rapping about. With 6 9 it's out the window. Like, it's not even there. And I think that's why 6 9 trying so hard to press certain rappers to go after them to try to show that they're not gangsters. Well, but we're going to get more into that later.